we got to point out that you were on Shark Tank. Yeah. Was that more of like a, were you, were you really interested in the money or were you more interested in the, the media? I was interested in a strategic partnership. Okay. Um, and I thought going on, going on Shark Tank and getting an investment from Shark, one of the sharks, uh, was going to be a strategic plan for us to grow. So you got the SBA loan, right? Yeah. So why, why did you need more? Um, and your, and your trucks were making money at this point, right? Right. Uh, because we always wanted to expand and expansion, the growth, the vision is to our vision, our big vision is to become the world leading Korean barbecue brand. And, you know, just, you know, you kind of put it out there. World Korean barbecue brand. That's uh, right. Are you, are you going to transition away from Mexican? Like, Cause you kind of have, I feel like I've been to your, your stores and I don't really yeah. see the Mexican side of it that much to be honest. I mean, maybe, right. I think if you were to go to our stores, you would feel like, okay, there is um, Texas, you know, Texan, Mexican influence in the cuisine that, that we're serving. Uh, but we are a Korean barbecue inspired brand. Got you. And uh, that's, you know, that's been our vision. And um, so, yeah. Yeah. So to bring it back, you're saying you see the vision. You're yeah. trying to expand. Yeah. And you had enough to maybe get the first brick and mortar. Yeah. But you wanted more. That's right. And why was the shark going to be the best way to do that? Um, well, first of all, you if you get on Shark Tank, yeah. you are getting millions of viewers. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought that it would be valid. Like it would put some validity into the hard work that we have been putting for years. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, previously, I've gotten on some, some few cooking shows. And every time I got on... At cooking shows, I felt like this isn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a chef, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm an operator. I'm an entrepreneur. I love the restaurant business and I am a business guy. So I uh, wanted to be on Shark Tank because that aligned with me more than being on a cooking show. Okay. Yeah. Got you. So um, how did that end up? Like who, who yeah. ended up investing in well, on the show, Barbara Corcoran invested. Okay. Um, she's she's amazing person. Her team's amazing too. Uh, through the process of doing going through the due diligence, uh, you know, I just felt that the timing wasn't right, and uh, what they were asking for versus uh, what we were willing to give was uh, not in alignment at that time, and so we decided to not. Uh, okay. take investment okay it's interesting to know that you can back away from the investment after the show i was curious about that yeah <laughs> yeah you, you absolutely can it's yeah. your business and you yeah, can, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. do whatever you want with it um so it was great exposure you, yeah you, they were gonna invest in you yeah. um you you also applied like three times for that i show, did right i did i think it's important to point these things out because yeah. th- there's like this overarching theme of just like persistence. Right? Yeah. Like first restaurant, <laughs> fail, but Never you giving up, up right? the things. And you, yeah. yeah. You just keep showing up. Keep, like, yeah. You didn't get the loans, but you just kept going. You kept yeah. going. You didn't get on the show, but you kept going. You kept yeah. going. Yeah. It's so powerful. Yeah. Um, but we had a great story. Like every year that I applied, like I had, you know, first time I applied, we had food trucks. Second time we applied, like we had food trucks in Houston. Okay. Third time I applied, like I had a restaurant. So I was like, telling a story that we're growing like i was like you're missing out on our growth yeah like you need to see us you need to take us seriously um and i think that worked out well 